Uh, the topic of this panel is energy transformation. And as the national company, we're here to facilitate, uh, to lead, and even to drive uh, the transformation of the Ukrainian energy sector. Um, where we want to uh, be uh, through this transformation? Uh, of course, I would mention uh, renewables. Uh, in our case, uh, I would uh, particularly uh, focus on uh, uh, biomass, uh, biogases, uh, and biofuels, uh, because they're also renewable and uh, they're carbon neutral. Um, and uh, uh, Naftagaz believes that uh, uh, we as a company and Ukraine as a country uh, we have a lot of uh, very significant potential to develop uh, uh, biomass and biofuels and to drive, for example, transition in the uh, municipal heating sector. As it was mentioned, it's the most problematic uh, sector at the moment uh, uh, to uh, use of um, uh, biomass and, uh, and biogases. Uh, I would also mention green hydrogen. Um, as uh, a very important supplement or ac actually like a pillar of this uh, new transformed energy sector of Ukraine. And here again as, uh, as a company and as a country uh, we see huge potential to develop, uh, to produce green hydrogen in Ukraine and even to export it uh, to European countries like for example Germany. Um, this transition to renewables and the uh, uh, development of uh, green hydrogen economy, uh, I believe it's a part of energy efficiency, but I would also mention, of course, energy saving. Um, and uh, uh, how we want to, uh, to make this transition happen so that it's just not a declaration, it's through, uh, on one hand, development of a market, but real de market development, not just again in declarations or something that looks like Potemkin village, um, but also through protection of uh, uh, vulnerable customers, because uh, we believe as a national company that uh, uh, politics uh, unfortunately uh, does matter. And in order to have sustainable markets, uh, you need to have uh, satisfied uh, consumers. Um, otherwise, again, these markets are not uh, sustainable. Um, in Ukraine, uh, this protection of uh, vulnerable consumers, it's about fighting uh, energy poverty. Um, that is a big problem for Ukraine, unfortunately. Uh, but also it's about uh, protecting vulnerable consumers uh, from um, uh, abuse by dominant players um, and uh, price volatility. As I mentioned, Naftagas, as the national company, uh, will be a facilitator, uh, uh, a leader, an enabler, and a driver of this transformation. Uh, to make it happen, again, uh, we need to clearly realize uh, uh, the challenges uh, that we have. Um, as Naftagas, uh, we do have some big successes, uh, but in a very limited area. And uh, I personally believe that uh, there are still some important lessons uh, to be learned uh, from uh, these successes, as well as failures of Naftagas. Uh, unfortunately, our own production is decreasing, uh, and it's increasing uh, our dependence on uh, imports, so it's contrary to this goal of uh, energy independence. Uh, we see a clear lack of foreign direct investments, so we as Naftagas uh, have only a small project that uh, is an exception that proves the rule, that we failed on uh, attracting foreign direct investments into this energy sector. Uh, we see that our markets are not uh, sustainable, and that's something that we urgently need to change. Otherwise, uh, there is no future, at least uh, no future is the way we want to see it. Uh, as it was mentioned, uh, uh, we see uh, a huge challenge with uh, Nord Stream 2. Uh, because Nord Stream 2 is about the uh, security of Ukraine, both economic and uh, energy security of Ukraine. It's also a symbol, um, an important symbol, uh, and it's important for Ukraine so that uh, uh, it symbolizes uh, um, some, uh, this kind of rule-based world economic order uh, and its dominance over some short-sighted and sometimes corrupt uh, interests of some uh, 
uh, Western uh, companies and politicians. Um, and uh, uh, frankly, there is also a very important challenge that we need to overcome, is that we should change uh, uh, modus operandi or the way we basically work. Uh, we should switch from um, this model of milking public assets uh, for personal gains of those who exert managerial control uh, to uh, value creation in a financially sustainable way. Uh, value creation for uh, our customers, for um, citizens and for Ukrainians. Um, and again, unlocking or realizing uh, potential, uh, this huge potential that Ukraine has. Actions, probably we'll have some time uh, to discuss more concrete actions, but I would just mention that uh, recently, as it uh, has been mentioned by the Prime Minister, um, recently uh, we helped the government uh, to finally uh, switch uh, from uh, this explicit uh, government uh, regulation in the uh, gas supplies uh, to uh, municipal heating enterprises to a market-based solution. And uh, uh, Naftagas, as the national company, was there to support uh, this uh, transition to uh, market rules. Uh, we introduced, I would say, a revolutionary uh, approach or product uh, three years with a combination of uh, long-term uh, prices fixed to uh, markets and some spot prices, a product that has a potential to drive energy efficiency in the municipal heating uh, sector. So something that is very important, just uh, a beginning, uh, but, and we do need to work hard to uh, make it a successful um, new approach, uh, but we believe that's the future. Um, we're, out, uh, we're now working on some changes uh, in the uh, structure of uh, supplies uh, to households so because uh, we see some uh, challenges um, over there. Um, hopefully, uh, uh, within weeks, basically, with um, an engagement, an active engagement uh, uh, from the side of the regulator and the Ministry of uh, Energy um, and the gas transmission system operator and uh, uh, distribution system operators, major uh, gas suppliers, uh, uh, we will work, uh, work out a new approach that would, uh, on one hand, and that's probably the most important part, will secure um, a supply of gas uh, to Ukrainian households uh, uh, this winter and next winters uh, at some transparent market-based uh, uh, but acceptable uh, pricing. Um, but also, again, uh, would facilitate uh, market uh, development and, and proper competition. Um, also, uh, Naftagas would develop uh, um, trading, like proper trading, because last couple of years, I would say, uh, we were just selling basically locally produced gas and some gas uh, from storages. I would not call it trading at all. Uh, but maybe uh, soon we will have uh, proper trading uh, uh, on the side of nafta gas. And here uh, we do see a need uh, to uh, be a real market maker, to provide two-way quotes. And uh, so that we can finally see a liquid market. Uh, we would see uh, development of proper regulated uh, platforms uh, where one can trade uh, uh, some standardized uh, products. Um, it would also allow uh, other foreign players uh, to be much more active in the market, uh, but also to invest in areas directly uh, uh, connected or interconnected with the gas market. Uh, and last but not least, I would mention the uh, corporate governance reform uh, that we need uh, uh, to launch at NAFTA Gas, uh, so that uh, uh, we do uh, have a system that uh, uh, creates trust um, among Ukrainians, that uh, there is, um, uh, for example, a supervisory board that is competent and independent enough uh, to hold management accountable, so that uh, Ukrainians believe that uh, the management is, uh, or the management acts in the interest of the company, and ultimate beneficiary owners of this company, Ukrainians, not in the interests of, again, those who exert uh, managerial control. Uh, 
Uh, I believe uh, this uh, real corporate governance reform is necessary uh, so that uh, we can realize uh, the ambitions that uh, I shared uh, with you. And I'm happy to uh, take all the questions. Thank you.